Welcome to Beyond Computers, the show that equips you with digital skills, familiarizes you with digital tools, and helps you realize your full potential in your studies, your career, and business. Today we continue with our lesson on TV technology in the 21st century. Let's recap. Last week, we looked at the various flat screen TV technologies in the market, the pros and cons of each, and we also explained the difference between digital and analog television and transmission. Today we are looking at flat screen TVs versus smart TVs. Just because it's flat doesn't mean it's smart. All flat screen TVs are digital today, but not all flat screen TVs are smart. So what makes a TV smart? Remember in webisode 1 when we learned about smartphones and what makes smartphones smart? Well, the same logic applies to smart TVs. Smart TVs, just like smartphones, use an operating system. But there's a slight difference in the operating systems that TVs and phones use. For TVs, we have WebOS which runs on LG televisions. We also have Android RV operating system which runs on the latest Sony Bravias, some Hisense and Sharp TVs. And then we have Tizen which runs on the latest Samsung TVs. The operating system you use is going to determine the downloaded applications that you're going to have on your smart TV. Today, we have smart TVs that have a touchscreen interface such as the 55-inch touchscreen overlay for smart signage. In order to enjoy the extra features that come with a smart TV, you're going to need internet connection. Most smart TVs come with an ethernet port where you can directly connect your internet cable in your television. But today we also have smart TVs that are Wi-Fi enabled. So let's take a look at the online features that come with smart TVs. With a smart TV, you can be able to access social media pages as you would on your computer or phone. Instant messaging applications such as Skype are another feature that's popular with smart TVs. Some smart TVs will even allow you to do full on-screen video calling with family and friends. The most feature used on smart TVs is the on-demand video services such as YouTube, Netflix, BBC iPlayer and many others. Taking inspiration from smartphone app creators, most TV manufacturers are today creating applications for smart TVs. The Panasonic App Store features quite a wide selection of games to download. They also offer a range of optional accessories such as game controllers and smartphone applications to make the games easier to engage with. The range of accessories don't stop there either. You can also get an electronic touch pen which allows you to write directly on your TV screen leaving messages for people as if it were a household notice board. There's even a set of Wi-Fi connected body mass index scales and a health monitoring wristband allowing you to keep track of your weight and fitness via your TV. A perhaps more useful feature comes from the Samsung Smart Evolution Kit. This accessory allows owners of certain older Samsung TVs to upgrade the latest spec by simply plugging a box into a slot on the back of their TV. Depending on the model and type of evolution kit, this adds a faster quad-core processor and access to the latest smart TV features. This assures that your TV will not become obsolete even when the next best thing comes into the market. Smart TVs are awesome but they also cost a lot more. The good news is you do not have to own a smart TV to enjoy the features of one. If you want to make your ordinary flat screen TV smart, here are the alternatives. One, set boxes. There is a whole range of set-top boxes available that give similar features to a smart TV along with all sorts of media streaming options. These work much like the set-top digiboxes which convert old analog TVs into digital ready ones. Just plug them into your TV's HDMI port, follow the on-screen instructions and voila! your TV receives an instant brain transplant. The three best set boxes in the market are 1. Chromecast by Google 
It costs about 4,000 Kenya shillings. Not only does this allow you to stream a huge range of online content to your TV, but it also connects directly with your home computer, Android or iOS device, making it incredibly easy to stream all kinds of media, including photos, videos and music directly to your big screen. Number two, we also have the Apple TV, which costs a little more, but comes with a handsome remote control and integrates very smoothly with Mac computers and iTunes. Beyond those two, there are a whole host of set boxes out there priced from as little as 2,000 Kenyan shillings. They come in all shapes and sizes to suit your setup. So, if you're looking to enjoy smart TV features but you're not in the market to buy a new TV, well, a set-top box is a great way to enjoy these features. Number 2. Gaming Consoles All of the major games consoles now offer access to various media streaming and video on-demand applications. In fact, Netflix have said that at times, the PlayStation 3 is the most popular device used to access the service. Sony's latest console, the PlayStation 4, continues to support a range of video-on-demand services. Microsoft's newest machine, the Xbox One, takes things even further. It offers built-in TV guides and even allows you to control your TV with your voice. Game consoles are however very expensive and therefore not the best option if you're looking for that smart TV experience. Instead, go for a set-top box which costs less and gives you more options. Number 3. Smart Blu-ray Players DVDs brought us significantly better picture and sound than VHS tapes. Now, with the popularity of high-definition televisions, Blu-ray players and discs are delivering another wave of innovation in home entertainment. Blu-ray is an optical disc format used to store high-definition video as well as games. They are like the next generation of DVDs delivering full HD picture quality. Some TV manufacturers now offer access to their smart TV platforms via their own Blu-ray players. If you're only interested in video and music streaming, then Blu-ray players are a good way to go and they cost about 13,000 Kenyan shillings. Number 4. Home Theater PC The last alternative for upgrading your TV in smart features is the Home Theater PC. A Home Theater PC or HTPC gives you complete access to any programs, websites, games and so on that you would have on a normal desktop PC. Smart TVs give you an experience like no other. The sound and picture quality are impeccable. However, they are also more vulnerable to malware and hacking. They are actually more vulnerable than your computer. So make sure that you never use your smart TV for any online transactions or to respond to personal emails or messages. Hope you're now equipped with all the necessary information needed for you to own that smart TV. Check out this week's Unleashed Video of the Week. Grand and spectacular screen images from a tiny 4.5 centimeter cube. Smart Beam is an incredibly simple to use personal projector that works with your mobile devices. Just press the power button on the right, connect it to your smartphone, and you're all ready to go. Smart Beam automatically traces a video from your smartphone and projects it on the screen through the lens in front. 4.5 centimeters on all dimensions and 129 grams. This ultralight device boasts incredible brightness of up to 35 ANSI lumens, amazing color representations enabled by DLP technology, as well as a battery that lasts for two hours and a screen that expands up to 100 inches depending on your comfortable distance. With the smart design honored at the 2013 IF Awards perfected by an aluminum finish, Smart Beam allows you to project images easily on the wall or the ceiling without an additional support. The joy of viewing your favorite content on a large screen anywhere, anytime. Educational material for your kids as well as movies, games, books, video chatting, internet surfing and more. Experience multimedia contents in your smartphone with Smart Beam. Making your smart imagination into a reality.
That's Smart Beam for you. Please contact us on the social media platforms on your screen and check out the YouTube link provided to watch more of these videos. Bahut shukriya for watching Beyond Computers. Until we meet next time, Namaste.